we know that uh, Mr. Osborne's parents are the ones that discovered him. Uh, she got a phone call from her grandson about 144 and he was crying and upset and they couldn't understand what was going on so they went to his home which they lived just a hundred yards away uh, to see what was going on because they couldn't understand why he was crying on the phone and they couldn't make sense of it. When they go into the house they find their son has been shot and their grandson's not there. This was at 144 when she received a cell phone call from her grandson. Her grandson being the shooter. Correct. I mean, our crime scene process is, it, we, you know, we are relying on, like I said, some of our state partners to help us with this. We are focusing on the school because most of that is on the outside, so we're going to get that done. We have a limited crew at the house, and that will continue tomorrow. Obviously, I, you know, we can hold that crime scene, and we will hold it until we get through. So we're probably going to hold that until we get some better daylight and go from there. I hate what happened, happened, you know, but but I never knew he had a son, you know, that age, but never know life called me. <laughs> man, I mean, Jeff, he was, he was an excellent guy, real excellent. I mean, like I say, he never done nothing but work and went back home.